but the sadhus, the ascetics who are, are celibate, uh, aided, I think, by a lot of ganja, though, I've heard. I don't know. Uh, but they uh, often are absolutely naked as the day they were born, except for the ash-covered work that they do. And they bathe in the Ganges, and it's a very spiritual event. And you see this photograph that he was able to Germany in the uh, mid to late 1800s, where they had a movement in nature, a Nachtromensch movement, and this was, it was sort of an anti-industrial movement. These were the real proto-hippies that inspired a lot of the hippies and people at the turn of the century in America who were into uh, a, a wholesomeness, uh, a wholesome nakedness. And, um, and there were a lot of communities in Germany that were into, they were into uh, worshiping in nature, a sort of nature-based mysticism and eating healthy foods. And, um, and eating whole foods. So it was this sort of holistic lifestyle uh, at the rise of industrialism in Germany that spread to America, went all the way out to California, and that was how we, that was how California developed that original term of land of fruits and nuts, you know? And that was because of the, the German influence came out to California and the nature boys rose up. This hippie, it was a proto-hippie subculture in the 40s and 50s, of people who, these kind of, I don't know if you remember Gypsy Boots, um, he was on like the Ed Sullivan Show and all of these places, or the song Nat King Cole sang called Nature Boy. Yeah. That is about oh, the nature, man. the nature boys from California who were inspired by the Dr. Mensch in Germany. And, and it, was, it was a holistic lifestyle, it was a wholesome uh, nudism, and that's why you have all these great uh, nudist colony books from Germany. <laughs> from, you know, and some from America too, which you know have been, uh, you know, uh, popular since I guess the turn of the century, but also in the 60s and 70s. So. I learned so much uh, from Jody. I can tell you this, and the more you look back at, at the communities that were saying rethinking how we live in a society, you see that they reinvent almost always the same rules. How many of you have ever heard of Oneida Silver? Oh, yeah. Silverware, right? It was the biggest silverware in the, uh, company. And it was a young, uh, the founder of it went to Yale and, and had great dispute about sin and the nature of, of kind of Christian doctrine. And he founded what could only today be described as kind of a, a hippie, shared parented, three love group. And they needed to have an industry uh, to keep themselves going, and they created in Oneida, New York, the Oneida Silverware uh, thing, and we're very, so if you Google that. Oh, yeah. The other thing is, I lived in North Carolina, and I always loved those Moravian cookies, but who knew that the Moravians led Europe for this bigger kind of love, invited in the Native Americans to be part of their community, invited in the African Americans who had very little rights at that time into their community, and they were also a free love community and of the Moravians, so they weren't just making cookies. <laughs> and, and we should mention that the outer culture were not necessarily fans of these groups. Yeah. Like there was always friction with the with the traditional power structures uh, for these groups. They were thought as weirdos, dangerous, dangerous crazy, you know, crazy. Um, but, but as, as you've seen, and you'll see with some of the groups that we have upstairs in our Mystic Mavericks group uh, room, um, a number of these groups actually go forward to, to help uh, move the, the culture forward in progressive ways. And very, very interesting. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's, let's go on now.
of Maparanamis, and she was so thrilled with this museum. Uh, his artwork, the vividness of his early artwork, Jimmy was a, a, a very interested in spiritual subjects and in these complex uh, doodlings, etc. But we also have really grace of, of our contact from ISIS. Would you like to just explain briefly his the friendship? Um,